Hello Aries, uh, it's Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today? Wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you and thank you for joining me today. I'll be looking at Aries for uh, 2021. What's coming up for you Aries? Um, where do you want your life to go? Aries is of course a cardinal sign all about you know, self-directing, moving forward, always, you know, not always, but often likes to be in the lead, ruled by Mars, strong um, inspiration, always, you know, always looking for the next plan, the next project, the next movement forward. Mars, of course, has been retrograde in your sign somewhat in 2020. It hasn't always been the easiest of years for you. It hasn't been easy for any of the signs. But 2021, 2021, I feel there's time for you now to step back and have a, a bit of a, what, I, what I'm feeling is a bit of a breather, a bit of a blow, um, to step back from the constant uh, movement forward to sit, in your um sit with yourself uh for a little while i think will be important in 2021 to regroup to you know catch up catch your breath uh in 2021 some of you have been as i said on the go uh involved in many things but i think you'll get the time to resonate with yourself in 2021 it's going to be a, a really enjoyable experience for you Show me what's coming up for Aries. I'm using my Art of Life Tarot. I'll then pull a couple of Kip cards for you. And then I'm going to move to the Witch's Tarot as our main deck. So what is coming up? What is the What are the main messages for Aries in 2021? Main messages for Aries in 2021. Main messages for Aries in 2021. Of course... Jupiter and, um, depending on where you are, uh, but Jupiter and Saturn will be moving into Aquarius, uh, coming out of the the um, uh, the twelfth house and moving into that. Well, they're on the ascendant, so I think this allows you. Again, it it takes some 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 of the weight off you in some way. You just feel more at ease in twenty twenty one with everything. The two of wands, yeah, patience. The first steps, the first step towards getting somewhere, is to is to decide you're not going to stay where you are. Very much a, an Aries energy, with the two of wands um, moving forward. Um, always with a plan. Always with a project. Let's see what happens with our second card. King of Pentacles, okay, so on the move still with the with business, wealth stays with us a little moment, if at all. Only our characters are steadfast, not our gold. So there is a message here if you're the workaholic or if you're simply on the go, on the go, uh, you know, chasing work, chasing money, there is there is a reminder here. That this, you know, to stop, to pause, to smell the roses, to resonate within with yourself, to sit with yourself, because uh, you know this pursuit is not everything, um, and you're being reminded of that in 2021. All well, these are the main messages, and the King of Swords. The great virtue is the real courage to face facts and live beyond them. So again, this could be coming to peace with some kind of situation that has really been, I guess, dogging you throughout 2020. It's reconciling things. It's reconciling things. This could even be around money as well. I think you're just going to have a richer experience in 2021 because money is not going to be the focus. One more card. Um, the Ten of Swords, those things that hurt instruct. So again, this need to step back and look at what was learnt and experienced in 2020 is going to be really important to you. I mean, these cards are saying take the time out, take the time out to do that. And the Two of Pentacles at the base of the pack energy. Happiness is not in the mere possession of money. 
It lies in the joy of achievement, in the thrill of creative efforts. So turning your focus elsewhere is going to be very important in 2021. Taking that time out away from the hustle, the bustle, the planning, the projects, the movement, finding somewhere where, you know, you it's a safe harbour, you know, it's a holiday, you know, hopefully by the water. Water is a very healing, uh, healing to be around. Taking that time out and really looking at everything you've experienced in 2021. Now, let's pull from our Kipper deck. And I put those main men and women back in here. Where is it? Yeah, there we go. So whether you're male or female watching this, it's, it's applicable to you both. So 2021 for Aries. What are the main messages coming forward? 2021, what are the main messages coming forward for Aries next year in 2021? Aries in 2021. So we've got thoughts here. Again, this came up for Pisces. Um, <clears throat> creative courthouse talks about some kind. This could even be official. This could be travel documents, for example. <clears throat> Your thoughts could be on loved ones, for example. <clears throat> for some areas, it's on uh, marriage and commitment. This is definitely a marriage. <laughs> For some Arians that are watching this, not all, you're going to get married next year. And we've got Privileged Lady again. So, um, yeah, this again is some kind of something coming to you. Could be somebody coming into your life like that as well. But beware, <laughs> beware of the false person. So I think also, and I think with Aries, you know, they need to be able to trust uh, like us all they need to be able to trust and you know this could even be around somebody that comes in uh, and you know either pretends to be something they're not or gives you some kind of false information just be wary uh, of making sure you check everybody's credentials if you're buying things online or you know if you purchase a trip uh, make sure You've got your travel insurance, for example. Uh, make sure that, you know, nothing is going to go wrong. But I feel that you either you could even be celebrating a wedding. This may not be just you. It may be somebody, a relative of yours, is getting married. Uh, and there's a lot of legal toing and froing in relation to the marriage as well. I think, you know, again, with this message for Pisces, same, same message for you, that a lot of healing is going to be... Um, it's going to be possible if you stop and resonate with yourself and perhaps uh, tune into some kind of creative uh, pastime as well. The base of the pack, we've got the wealthy man and the lovers. Okay, so you could meet somebody new. Uh, for those Aryans that are single, you could meet somebody new and form a relationship with them. But just beware, be cautious in 2021 Aries. All right, let's move to our tarot, to our witch's tarot, and see what each month of the year is going to bring for Aries in 2021. January, February through to November, December, January to December. What is coming up month by month for Aries in 21? 2021, month by month, please, Spirit, for Aries in 2021. Month by month for Aries in 2021. So January through to December, one card each month, 2021 Aries, 2021 Aries. So I am seeing a house. You could even be relocating as well or if you're traveling, living there for a little while. 2021 definitely there's some creative pursuits here and particularly I'm getting a draw to art show me this year by month by month 2021 for Aries month by month for Aries if you have the hermit in January there's a bit of introspection coming up for you in January 
Five of Pentacles. Um, this could be, again, feeling like you've been left out in the cold in some way. There's, um, there's an emotional issue here, I feel, in the first three months of the year. Four of Swords, and it's one that you have to step back from. It's one that you have to retreat from. May, we've got independence. So from May, things and the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Wands again, and the Moon card. So I think the first four months of the year, the first quarter of the year, you're dealing, uh, could even be something that happened last year. It's a hangover from that, or it could be a new situation. There is a bit of a letdown here and a little bit of sadness, to be honest, in March. Um and you're moving away from it. You don't want to feel it anymore. Uh, but we have, uh, and of course, in typical true Aryan fashion, you get back on your feet in May and you strike out on your own. Again, back in that energy that you resonate with. Queen of Pentacles, you're really bringing forward your own stability and security and not relying on anybody else. In July, we have some kind of, could even be family situation that arises or some kind of clashing here uh, with this Five of Wands. And we move to the moon. There is a, there is a need to look at uh, whatever this situation is. You need to examine old patterns within yourself. It's not just looking at the other person and blaming the other person. It's, it's looking at yourself and saying, well, how, what do I have to learn here? And if you can do that, it's win-win. And you won't repeat the pattern because you're doing the shadow work. Let's take a look at the last quarter of the year. Yeah, you've got, some, um, you've got this new emotional start happening in September. Three of Swords could be, uh, this could be related to this issue up here. We have the Page of Swords. It seems like you get some information in relation to this situation. And we've got the Judgment card needing to end something and move on from it. So a little bit up and down next year for you, uh, Aries. Um, I think you're going to learn the ultimate lesson is to walk away from what no longer serves you uh, because this person is working, walking toward healing. And I feel that you get um, news also coming through very, very quickly with this Knight of Swords, coming through very, very quickly. That changes something because you've got victory here. So I think you're ultimately going to be victorious, but I do think that there is a lot of learning going to uh, go on in 2021 for you. Let's go month by month and just dig down a little bit on what's going on here. Show me the Hermit, please, in January. The Hermit for Aries. The Hermit card in January. Introspection, reflection. Could be setting off on a trip on your own, uh, but I do feel it's in relation to a mental issue here. Um, when I say mental issue, there's something you're grappling with and uh, there's a lot of anxiety around it. The counsel here is to call on others because there's uh, this three of pentacles working in teams. Um, and we've got the, uh, the high priestess. It could be somebody's keeping something from you. You find it out in January. Um, but don't forget to draw on your friends for help. I do think it's an emotional situation in this first quarter. Let's see what's happening here with the Five of Pentacles. My High Priestess just keeps on wanting to come out. So something being revealed uh, here. Show me the Five of Pentacles. Show me the Five of Pentacles. What's this Five of Pentacles here for? You've got fives. You've got change. The first quarter is about change. And it's, it's around letting go. Again, that energy of walking away. Uh, from what makes you feel insecure, what makes you feel, you know, getting the truth and 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 really um, resonating with it, <clears throat> and walking away from what no longer serves you. 
letting go of um, anything that doesn't make you feel your best authentic self. I feel authenticity is very important to you. But there is this emotional issue in the first quarter here, the Five of Cups. You know, rarely do I get a reading where everything is roses for the entire year. Um, it's always up and down. The Three of Pentacles came out as well. So working in teams to build something here. Coming in, drawing on any help that's available. Show me this Five of Cups. What's happening with this Five of Cups? All right, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune. Um, if you are, if by March something is really, um, you know, you're grieving for something, know that the Wheel of Fortune is there for you. And this is this Jupiter energy in Aquarius. Something's going to shift. Now, this could be a past situation as well, because that seems to be what this these cards are telling me. The Six of Swords talk, talks about healing occurring, something shifting in an old in an old wound and healing occurring in March. That's I'm glad I got those cards for you. Uh, let's take a look at Four of Swords. You know, this can be about resting, slowing down and resting, which is one of the themes that I got for you at the beginning of this reading. Show me this Four of Swords in April. Four of Swords in April. All right, so exactly that, slow down. I'm not going to pull any more cards. It's quite clear. You need to slow down and stop and pause everything because you need to take in. Uh, the hermit had the light here. You need to take in what has happened. And you've got the uh, hanged man here seeing something from another point, another point of view and looking at things differently. But you can't do that if you're on the go uh, all the time. You need to resonate and really go within because I just feel the opportunity in 2021 for Aries is huge enlightenment like you've not experienced for some time. Show me this nine of pentacles, independence, freedom, financial freedom, having enough to meet your needs. May. Show me May, please. You're getting an offer here, an offer of love. Could even be an apology for what occurred in this uh, first quarter. Yeah, it's coming back together. So the second quarter starts to look up um, uh, quite considerably for you, Aries. We've got stability in June coming with this Queen of Pentacles. Financial stability. Yeah financial stability <laughs> okay I don't think I need to clarify any further July okay five of wands so you've pulled three fives so there is change ahead of you in 2021 this is personal change but it is going to lead to this opportunity I feel for you to find a peace within yourself that you probably haven't for a while so we've got the five of wands. What's flying out there? Yeah, the um, five of swords is, uh, again, five, five, fives. This is, you know, battling with people. Could be sabotage. Someone's trying to sabotage you. Uh, you know, it could be self-sabotage as well. It could be dealing with an old situation once and for all that you're totally sick of and that you're wanting to take control over. Um so let's have a look here. So these cards just flew out. You know, it's like you're over it <laughs> with this Nine of Wands, absolutely over this, whatever this situation is. But I do feel with this Nine of Cups that there's, there's going to be some kind of apology. I just feel like either you're going to apologise or someone's going to apologise to you. And here's your energy here. You absolutely want, you know, leadership, taking control of something back in the you know if I can just put it like you know the driver's seat again you're not uh, you're not going to be kept back by this energy you're moving on to really grow I feel in 2021 to do that shadow work what is this moon card please here in August please for Aries what is the moon card she has a light as well so, again, judgment, letting go, letting go, walking away, 
bringing something to a close which no longer serves you, something again that has been, you've got the three of uh, swords here twice, letting it go, letting it go and moving on. That's what I feel this moon card is about. But I do feel there's quite a lot of introspection being done as well uh, for you, where you stop, you pause, and you it's like you're working it all out. Uh, and, you know, that's going to lead to an emotional, new emotional start. Yep, here's the Ace of Cups being offered. A new emotional start in September. What's this Ace of Cups, please? What is this Ace of Cups? Okay, yep, it's Cups energy. <laughs> this is uh, the past, uh, but it's also nostalgia. It's also the higher self, and it's moving into this emotional uh, maturity so I feel that you're getting on top of whatever this Three of Swords situation is uh, for you that seems to be raising its head in in um, the first quarter. Yeah, it is. It's like you're standing your ground now. You've done, you've done, it's almost like you've done your time with it and you're moving away from what is no longer serving you. Okay, so let's have a look at November. November, the Page of Swords, information coming to you. What's going on here? Page of Swords for Aries in November. Page of Swords for Aries in November. Oops. Oh, gosh. Okay. Lots wanting to come out. Uh, this, I think you're getting information on this situation in the first quarter still. And uh, whatever decisions you made to let it go are absolutely being validated. <clears throat> this seems to be, yeah, it's crossroads making decisions again. It's like to, ex I think it is to extract yourself because that judgment card has just come up for you time and time again. I'm actually going to do another pull for you, Aries, to see what this situation is because I think it is the same situation here. Show me this, uh, the shadow side, looking uh, looking at what has been hidden. What is this shadow side underneath the moon? What is this shadow side? Something, yeah, it's taking control once and for all. This could be something that's been dogging you for a few years and becoming independent. You know, I'm just getting some of you might even divorce in 2021. Um, yeah. There's an offer here coming or a bombshell or a surprise. And as I said, you're over it. You're done. So by the end of the year, this situation that may have had its roots, you know, going back years and years, because that's what it feels like to me. It feels like a, um, a year where you finish old karma. You tie up loose ends. You, you end it once and for all. So I'm just going to, because that was such a, Heavy reading. I'm just going to pull a quick Celtic cross for you, Aries, on this situation here in the first quarter that is, you know, really did dominate your reading. What is this issue, this issue that needs to be tackled in 2021 for Aries? What is this issue, please? What is this issue? And uh, what do Aries learn? throughout 2021 what do Aries learn throughout 2021 okay the signifier card is the queen of swords and this is not to give way to anxiety and it's not to give way to being drawn down uh, into other people's problems I feel um, and it's about taking control so in some ways as I said it's a rite of passage year for you it's about you stepping up that emperor three four five times it's come up in this reading and it's all about you taking control of something and it is this issue and it is around uh, you know this this can be loss this can be betrayal this can be feeling wounded this can be feeling let down um, I feel that you're needing to take control over that. I do feel it's not an issue that is coming up next year for you. I feel it's something you've been grappling with in 2020. So here we have the hermit here in the past, needing to go within, needing to take that quiet time out to process what has happened. This is your best counsel, the nine of pentacles. Again, triple, um, quadruple, whatever, validation. How many times did this card come up? 
This is having enough for your needs. This is standing on your own two feet. This is having more than enough. In fact, this can even signify money coming to you. Yeah, uh, I think it is this issue, uh, this, you know, anxiety, worrying about what has occurred here. And I think this is related to taking control over the anxiety. Um, you could have learnt the truth of something last year, in, or when I say last year, in 2020. Uh, you could be sitting with the truth right now, and there's that old saying, truth will set you free. And we've got High Priestess. I feel someone who was keeping secrets from you, it has now been revealed with this High priest Priestess. Again, so much validation in this reading. The hopes and the fears. Yes, you are strong enough, Aries. You absolutely are. You are strong enough. We have the Page of Pentacles. Again, closing down the year, starting again, uh, starting again more secure than what you were in January, having worked something out, um, the chariot, and ready to face 2022 with, um, you know, full, full on frontal in 2022, uh, facing it, staring it down, ready to go, ready to go again. Um, and justice has been done. Justice has been done. So this year, 2021, gives you an opportunity to work something out to uh, ultimately, um, what do you learn? You learn about temperance. You learn about moderation. This is the Archangel Uriel here, and she brings forward a, uh, a healing for you, a, the possibility of balancing something out. Three of Pentacles, it's really important to work with others in 2021, Aries. This has come up multiple times for you. And I do feel that there's going to be a lot of joy in families here. This is this Ten of Cups. Um, and this is love. This is, uh, this is attainment. This is reaching unconditional love. Um, so uh, a bit of a mixed bag for you emotionally, but I think it's a year you'll have enough financially if that's what you're worried about. But I think that this is a year to really uh, work out whatever that Three of Swords issue is for you, which I think occurred in 2020, to work that out and take control over it. And the way you're going to take control uh, is to remember at the beginning of the reading, sit with yourself, you know, stop for a little while, take some time out, rest and ruminate uh, and find that peace within yourself because I think you put it to bed once and for all by the end of next year, you're ready by December, you're ready to go again um, and uh, you're off again in that typical Aryan fashion to new horizons, new adventures. So uh, quite a <laughs> complex reading Aries but um, I think an important one for you. So namaste.